Wraith and Last Gen Ghost were the first models to get Black Badge variants in 2016, followed by Dawn in 2017 and Cullinan in 2019. This is the new Black Badge Ghost and it's all about appealing to a new type of customer, a younger multimillionaire, or as Rolls describes them, in the 2020s, these women and men engage with luxury products on their own terms. They reject suits for streetwear, use blockchain not banks and influence the analog world through their digital endeavors. In doing so, they have created new codes of luxury that resonate with their sensibilities, darker in aesthetic, assertive in character and bold in design. Rolls-Royce press releases really are the gifts that keep giving, aren't they? Many things. Let's start with the design and materials because that's where Rolls really puts the emphasis. Don't like too much choice? Look away now, because customers can pick from 44,000 ready-to-wear colors, or if you absolutely must match your car to your chihuahua's eye color then by all means go bespoke. However, most do what it says on the tin and go for black, 45 kilograms of black paint, finished with two layers of clear and a five-hour hand polish. Don't get that down the local wash and wax. The spirit of ecstasy and Pantheon grille are present and correct, but get a darker chrome plating, while the 21-inch wheels are BB Ghost specific and made up from a carbon fiber barrel with a forged aluminium hub bonded to the rim with aerospace grade titanium fasteners. On the inside there's a new carbon weave with metallic fibers picking out the diamond pattern, an aluminium black badge infinity symbol between the back seats and a blacked out clock with only the tips of the hands and the quarter hour markers brightened in chrome. Needless to say, this is all very nice, but we spent most of our time staring childlike at the illuminated fascia on the passenger side of the dash, with more than 850 lights, and the starlight headlining, complete with the occasional shooting star. More upgrades. The capacity of the Rolls-Royce twin-turbocharged 6.75-litre V12 engine was deemed sufficient, possibly my favorite line in any press pack ever, but the power output wasn't. So a bump of 29 brake horsepower to 592 brake horsepower and an extra 37 pounds feet of torque for a total of 664 pounds foot more voluminous air springs help to reduce body roll under more assertive cornering, while the braking bike point has been raised slightly and pedal travel decreased, although the braking system remains the same as the standard Ghost, albeit with the new option of bold colors for the brake calipers. Where it gets mildly more exciting is when you hit the low button on the gear selector stalk. This amplifies the engine through an entirely new exhaust system, although if you're expecting this to uncork a crackling Italian V12 soundtrack, sorry, the difference is subtle. It also unlocks the full 664 pounds feet of torque from 1, 600 RPM, increases gearshift speeds from the 8-speed ZF Auto by 50%, and sharpens up the throttle mapping. Again, restrain tweaks, nothing raucous. If you want a rip-snorting super saloon, you need to look elsewhere. But clearly that's not the point here, Rolls-Royce has built its reputation around producing the world's most comfortable and luxurious cars, it's not about to throw that in the bin. This is a gentle massage to the ghost's character, rather than a full organ transplant. Having said that, we had the chance to do a couple of interesting exercises. Firstly, burying the throttle in a straight line down a runway, and it picked up its skirt nicely, hitting a highly undignified but totally unruffled 135 miles per hour by the time we had to squeeze the brakes. Secondly, a slalom course where it actually resisted body roll better the faster you went, the air suspension recognizing that you were keen on some more assertive cornering and reacting according. A special mention must go to the Ghost's four-wheel steering system too, which not only makes a car this enormous actually maneuverable around town, but gives the sensation, during high-speed lane changes, that the car is simply moving sideways rather than turning at all. A much gentler experience for the oligarch in the back, 